this year, for winter break, we went on a cruise. And at first, the cruise might not have sounded that fun, since because of the hurricane, our itinerary got totally messed up, and we didn't get to go to the ports that we thought we were going to get to before. But in the end, this might have ended up being the best vacation yet. really have to go over the story of how we got on the ship since I already posted two vlogs about it. But it was pretty standard. We went to the airport, got on a plane, and flew over to Port Canaveral where we got on the ship. And after this first day, our itinerary started with a day at sea. Which, if you've never been on a cruise before, sounds a little bit boring since you're not actually at a port. But these could be some of the most fun hey, days. Yo. Good morning, guys. It's day two. Very excited. We're going to lunch. About 12 o'clock right now. Let's get this day started. We got to ride that awesome clear slide so many times. And we experienced some of the best entertainment ever. Like, seriously, the shows on Disney are Broadway level. But, I mean, that's all you can expect from a company like Disney. It's an entertainment company. We went in the pool, watched some movies, and had a great day at sea. Days at sea are always fun. But, it wasn't until we got to our first port that the vacation really got what Disney would call mad. Magical. Our first port was Cozumel, Mexico, which again we were not really supposed to go to, but I'm really glad we did. We walked around at first and we saw some Mexican shops. We even got to go on Wi-Fi and check out how things have been going back home. And we went to a restaurant called the Thirsty Cougar, which was actually really cool because the guy there, the waiter, thought that I was so famous when I told him that I had 1,300 YouTube subscribers that he took a picture with me, got my autograph, and posted it on his Facebook page for the restaurant under the like famous people tab. All right, big shout outs to, uh, what's your name? Nico. Ni Nico, big shout outs to Nico. He wants to be in the vlog. Awesome man. Awesome man. Awesome man. Awesome man. Was far from over because that night we had pirate night where everyone dresses up as pirates as a special menu and there's a bunch of really fun pirate shows but my favorite part is the fireworks show at the very end of the night because this isn't just some average fireworks show this is probably the only time anyone will ever see a fireworks show in the middle of the ocean a really fun day at sea once again going in the pool and spending time in the aqueduct which is that really fun clear slide Before the next day came, which was a port day at Grand Cayman. What is up, guys? It is Jack, and welcome to a new video. Today, we are shooting this video entirely on the iPhone 8 Plus. Now, the question is, do I clickbait and call this vlog shot on iPhone 8 Plus? I don't know. Either way, though, we are going to Grand Cayman. We're going to the beach. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be a very, very fun day. What's unique about Grand Cayman is that there isn't really a port. We had to park far away from the island, then tender, meaning take these little small boats to the actual island, which was really fun. Once at Grand Cayman, we went to a place called Hemingways, which was really, really fun and what I would consider to be basically the dream beach paradise. Not only was it not crowded in super fun beach, but they also had some awesome pools and the food was sushi. That's right, a beach, pools, and Asian fusion cuisine. How does this not sound like the best place ever? Hit that jack, jack, pull it, pocket, it back. Time and time waits for no man and ain't got time to shake your head. When the day was over, we got back on the bus and headed back to the ship. We got back on a tender. It was definitely a cruise highlight. Then we had two days at sea, and this is where a normal cruise would have ended. We would have stopped back in Florida, we would have gotten off the ship, and we would have flown home. But this is Disney, and Disney has their own private island, Castaway Key, where only the people that were on the ship go, with a population of only about 4,000 people. Alright, we are here in Castaway Key. Very excited. I'm sure you guys just saw the time lapses. I have my key cards. We can get off the ship. Very excited. But in case you guys didn't know, Castaway Key is basically Disney's private island that they own. Very excited. They got lots and lots of fun stuff. I'll see you there. My favorite
favorite part was going on the aqua trike, which is like this giant clown ridiculous looking bike that you ride in the water and the wheels float. It's pretty crazy. I did it with my dad and one of the best parts that we got to come really close to the ship and you could ride all along the island. Then we had barbecue lunch down in Castaway Key at Cookies Barbecue where there was also Cookies to BBQ. Uh, we had a great time here in Castaway Key. I think we're heading back to the ship soon. We just got on the tram. We're heading back to the ship. You gotta check it out. If you're ever on Disney Cruise, you have to get off of Castaway Key. It's Disney's Island. So fun. Everything's free. You gotta love it. But as insane and fun as this trip was, it had to come to an end at some point. And that day had come. The next day, we were back at Port Canaveral, where we had started. It had been an awesome vacation. We had a ton of fun on the ship, a ton of fun on the ports, and before I forget, our waiter wanted to say hi. Going to watch the vlog, be in the vlog. The vlog. Hi, ah, you're doing the vlog? I didn't know you have a vlog, man. Yes, this is the vlog for YouTube. YouTube.com slash Jack Gordon. You're going to give me tomorrow. Sure, sure, sure. He was a really good magician. Definitely recommend it if you're ever on a Disney boat. See if Igor's on it. Try and request Igor from Croatia. He's the best. But anyways, the trip was over. Definitely pretty sad, but we still had two days left in Orlando. What is up, guys? It is Jack, and welcome to a new video today. It's 10 at 24, and the reason I have not vlogged yet today is because today we got off the cruise. We still at some Marriott yeah. hotel, which was yeah. also really fun. <laughs> Yeah, oh, now I have to go pick up my camera. Why don't I give you a quick pool tour? This is the main area where basically everyone swims around. You got a fountain back there. Over here, we got a lazy river, which is awesome. Ooh, shoot ski, this is so cool. And that's pretty much it. The pool is really cool. Definitely recommended. Come here. Today is Christmas, Christmas Day, and this is when I'm recording this video. In the other room, they're watching the Disney Christmas Parade, and I've actually tried to record this audio a ton of times because it's been so loud, but this isn't it. We've still got a couple of days left of 2017, which I will try my best to make the most of. But then, that's it. 2018 is coming, and it seems like the world has got a lot planned for it. But let's be honest, no one really knows what 2018 could bring. I mean, at the end of 2016, no one could have predicted that in 2017, we'd actually have an iPhone with no bezels. Or the rise of the Paul Brothers. No one could have predicted that the new most popular video on YouTube would be Despacito. And definitely no one knew anything about anyone's plans to repeal net neutrality. So, as Jake and Logan Paul always say, don't listen to the haters. Although, don't listen to them either. What I'm trying to say is, make your own future. 2018 is coming and you can do whatever you want with it. No matter what people think 2018 could bring, it's your 2018 in your life. Turn it into something special. Make this one of the best years of your life. Again, as Logan, Logan Paul said. Anyways, as Doc Brown says, Your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it. So, so make, make it, it a good one. one. Happy holidays, everyone, and have a good rest of 2017. I'll see you next year.